Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with the second part of this important chapter of plant embryology that is pollination process in plants. In the last lecture I have discussed about cell pollination. Today I will discuss about cross pollination and especially the adaptations shown by plants to ensure the process of cross pollination in detail one by one. Let's start. What is cross pollination to the transfer of pollen grain? from the anthers of one plant's flowers to the stigma of another plant's flower of same species that may, they may have certain genetical differences. The transfer of pollen grains from anthers of a flower on one plant to the stigma of flower on other plant having a different genetic constitution is known as cross-pollination. This process is also known as allogamy or xenogamy. Xeno means the alien or gammy means marriage then cross pollination has certain advantages for the species firstly it brings variability or variations which are important for the survival of a species in addition to this it makes the plant uh, more resistant to various abiotic stresses or biotic stresses which ensure the survival of a plant species so firstly it brings about variability in the genetic makeup of a species then it ensures survival of the species. In addition to this, this cross pollination requires certain agencies like we have external agencies like wind, water and animals which include both abiotic and biotic agencies for the transfer of pollen grains from one plant to the another plant. Next comes adaptations or contrivances for cross pollination. Contrivances means techniques, tactics or devices we can say roadmaps to ensure the process of cross pollination so plants have developed a list of contrivances to ensure the process of cross pollination and the first one is diclining or unisexuality as the name indicates the condition where flowers are unisexual and produces either only stamens that which are the male rotative structures or only pistil which are the female rotative structures this is a flower which is a female flower it bears only the female reproductive structure that is pistil consists of stigma style and ovary next we have male flowers which bear the male reproductive structure that is the stamen consists of filament and anther then the unisexual flowers are either born on same plant that plant is known as monoecious plant or we can say bisexual plant it means both male and female flowers are born on the same plant and we have examples like maize Kessar and all cucurbits. So, these plants are in CSV plant monoecious or in male or female flowers, a key plant present. This is the photograph which shows the female flower on lower portion and male flower on the upper portion in case of maize plant. This is the magnified uh, photograph of uh, male flowers of Zia maize and this is the female flower of Zia maize. And these hair like structures in case of female flower represents the sticky stigmas to receive the pollen grains. Next, we have this uh, castor plant. It bears again two types of flowers. The upper flowers are female flowers, and the lower flowers represents the male flowers. Or is may a special case hota hai. in this male flower of resinous commonness, the filaments are branched. So it bears branched stamens. Branched stamens present on the hand. It's a member of family Euphorbiaceae. So in this animated photograph, we can see here the upper flowers and they are female flowers, or the lower flowers and these are known as male flowers. Or it's meant to filaments on the hand. They are branched. It bears branched filament, and this is the floral diagram of male flower, and this is the floral formula of male flower. Again, then this is the floral diagram of female flower, and this is the floral, sorry, floral diagram of um, female flower, and this is the floral formula of female flower. So this is a floral description of flower of Nehrisimus communis. Next, we have flower of Cucurbita. It also bear separate male and female flower. This is the male flower, and this is the female flower. So these plants are monoecious plants, but they bear the male and female flower on the separate location on the same plant. Next, we have plants which uh, have separate male and female plants. This is male or female plants. Separate these plants are known as dioecious plant or we can say 
unisexual plants like we have examples for example mulberry then we have palmyra palm and papaya so ye jo plants hain in mein male plant uh, different location present hota hai aur female plant is present on different location so isme male or female plant separately present hote hain this is the photo which shows papa, uh, palmyra palm and in this papaya plant also we are the flowers on separate plant the next adaptation is hercogamy in this case uh, there is special separation of male and female rep reproductive structures that is jo stigma or uh, jo stammer or pistil hai wo specially separated hote in the same flower that is bisexual flower so it is special separation of male and female reproductive organs that is anthers and stigma in the bisexual flower for example we have this one flower that is gloriosa superba isme jo male reproductive organ hai aur female reproductive organ hai they are specially separated aur jo anthers hai they the highs away from stigma jo anthers hai wo pollen grains the stigma se dur release karte hain so there is no chance of self pollination then in the member of family caryophyllaceae ye jo family hai it have very important uh, ornamental plants like we have pink and carnation wo plant is family ko belong karte hain these are very important ornamental plants in addition to this ye jo family ke members hote hain they show free central placentation जो फ्री सेंट्रल प्लासेंटेशन होती है वो कैरियोफाइलेसी के मेंबर्स में होती है इन दिस फैमिली द पोलन कैन नॉट रीच अप टू द स्टिग्मा ऑफ द सेम फ्लावर टू दैट एंश्योर द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन क्योंकि जो स्टाइल है दैट इज मच लॉन्गर देन स्टेमल्स और जो पोलन ग्रेन हैं दे आर अनेबल टू रीच टू द सर्फेस ऑफ स्टिग्मा सो दैट्स वाई दे एंश्योर द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन इन एडिशन टू दिस इन टू फैमिलीज वी हैव वन ऑर्किडेसी दैट इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट फैमिली आफ्टर एस्ट्रेसी सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट फैमिली है और किडेसी इट हैज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड स्पीशियस प्लांट स्पीशियस विच बिलोंग टू दिस फैमिली एंड सेकेंड इज द एस्क्लैपीडेसी फैमिली दैट इज कॉमनली नॉन एज मिल्क वीड फैमिली तो ये जो दोनों फैमिलीज के मेंबर है हेयर द पोलन ग्रेन आर एग्लिटिनेटेड मीन्स एज अ सिंगल यूनिट ट्रांसफर होते हैं दे आर दे फॉर्म वन स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज नॉन एज पोलिनिया सो एक स्ट्रक्चर बनता है जैसे बोलते हैं पोलिनियम उसमें सारे के सारे पोलन ग्रेन एज अ सिंगल यूनिट ट्रांसफर होते हैं दिस इज द फ्लावर ऑफ ऑर्किड इट बियर सम यूनिक स्ट्रक्चर लाइक लिबलम देन इट हैज रॉस्टेलम एंड पोलिनियम ये जो सारे स्ट्रक्चर हैं दे आर यूनिक टू दिस फैम दैट इज ऑर्किडेसी और हम बात कर रहे हैं पोलिनियम की दैर इज दिंगल यूनिट ऑफ ऑल द पोलन ग्रेन और ये इंसेक्ट इसको कैरी करते हैं टू द अदर फ्लावर और इसमें जो पोलन ग्रेन्स हैं वो अपने फ्लावर के स्टिग्मा को फर्टिलाइज नहीं कर पाते हैं सो दिस इज अगेन एन एडेप्टेशन टू इंश्योर द क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन सिमिलर इज द केस विद दिस फ्लावर ऑफ कैलोट्रॉपिस दैर इज द मेंबर ऑफ फैमिली एस्क्लेपेडेसी सो दिस इज द फ्लावर ऑफ कैलोट्रॉपिस इसमें भी कुछ यूनिक फीचर्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं द वन इज गाइनोस्टीजियम it is formed by the fusion of uh, this uh, stigma and uh, jo male part hai uh, it means the pistil and stamens are fused to form this structure that is known as gynostegium aur isme present hote hain pollenia on these corners or which are the units of pollen grains then in addition to this it has corona that is formed of food and horn aur uh, isme bhi jo pollen grains hai they are unable to uh, fertilize the stigmatic surface or egg of the same flower so this is again an adaptation to ensure the process of cross pollination then these pollenia are carried away as a single unit by insect pollinators and helps in cross pollination other examples where either anther that is the flower of calmia this is the flower of calmia or stigmas as in case of viola pansy this is again a very beautiful ornamental plant viola pansy these are here these anthers or stigmas are enclosed in a modified perianth lobes so ye enclosed hote hain modified perianth lobes se jisse ki ye self pollination nahi kar pate hain to ensure the process of cross pollination so this is hercogamy and it is of two types hercogamy do tarah ki hoti hai that will the first type of hercogamy is approach hercogamy it is also known as pin flower 
इन दिस केस द स्टिगमा लाइज एव द लेवल ऑफ एंथर इसमें जो स्टिगमा है दैट लाइज एव द लेवल ऑफ एंथर जो एंथर इनके लेवल से ऊपर राइज करता है स्टिगमाटिक सरफेस एंड द पॉलिनेटर विजिटर फर्स्ट कॉन्टैक्ट स्टिगमा बिफोर रिमूविंग द पोलन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम द एंथर्स इन दिस फ्लोर अरेंजमेंट दिस इज अगेन एन एडेप्टेशन टू इंश्योर द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन एंड दिस इज नॉन एज अप्रोच हरकोगैमी दिस फॉर्म ऑफ हर्कोगैमी इज वेरी कॉमन दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ हर्कोगैमी फाउंड इन सम प्लांट्स नेक्स्ट इज रिवर्स हर्कोगैमी दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज थ्रम फ्लावर हेयर द एंथर्स आर प्रेजेंट एव द स्टिगमेटिक सरफेस हेयर द स्टिगमा लाइज बिलो द लेवल ऑफ एंथर द अरेजमेंट कॉजेज पॉइनेटर टू फर्स्ट कॉन्टैक्ट द एंथर्स बिफोर द स्टिगमा रिवर्स हर्कोगैमी फैसिलिटेड मोर पोलन एक्सपोर्ट दैन अप्रोच हर्कोगैमी तो इसमें जो पोलन ट्रांसफर है ज्यादा होता है एज कम्पेयर टू अप्रोच हर्कोगैमी दिस इज रिवर्स हर्कोगैमी सच फ्लावर्स आर मोस्ट मोस्टली पॉलिनेटेड बाय द लेपिडोप्टेरियंस विच इंक्लूड द मॉथ्स एंड बटरफ्लाइज पॉलिनेटर्स तो ऐसे जो फ्लावर्स हैं मोस्टली पॉलिनेट करते हैं लेपिडोप्टेरियन विच इंक्लूड मॉथ्स एंड बटरफ्लाइज In addition to this, we have third type of flowers, which uh, where this hercogamy is absent. It means, when two anthers uh, or stigmatic surface, uh, they lie on the same. Next adaptation is dicogamy. In this condition, the male and female reproductive uh, structures gets matured at different time. एक ही टाइम पे वो दोनों स्ट्रक्चर मेच्योर नहीं होते हैं आइदर द मेल रिपोर्टिव स्ट्रक्चर बिकम मेच्योर फर्स्ट और आइदर द फीमेल वन गेट मेच्योर फर्स्ट दिस कंडीशन इज नॉन एज डाइकोगैमी सो इट इज अ कंडीशन इन सम फ्लारिंग प्लांट्स वे आर पिस्टल एंड स्टेमन्स मेच्योर एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स तो अलग अलग समय पर ये दोनों स्ट्रक्चर मेच्योर होते हैं विच ऑल्सो इंश्योर द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रॉस पॉइनेशन इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप द फर्स्ट वन इज वे आर द मेल पार्ट गेट्स मेच्योर फर्स्ट दैट इज नॉन एज प्रोटेंडरस कंडीशन and the flowers are not protandrous flowers so protandry pro means early tandry and remains the male portion gets mature first when the male reproductive organs that is stamen of the flower mature before the female one which are the carpels so that condition is known as protandrous condition and the flowers are known as protandrous flowers for example we have uh, uh, flowers of ivy cotton sunflower impression salvia phlox etc so we have this uh, schematic description of dicogamy subtypes first is a dicogamy here the male and female organs gains reproductive activity at the same time to so, jab male or female parts same time pe mature hote hain so this condition favors the cell pollination the next we have protandry condition in case of protandrous condition here the male organs gains maturity reproductive maturity before the female organ the next we have protogyny here the female organs gains reproductive activity before the male organ so this is the protandrous flower here the male parts gets matured before the female reproductive parts here in the first day the anthers are shedding pollen and in the second day the stigma gets open so this again uh, this is the adaptation which ensured the process of cross pollination next is protogyny proto means early gyny means the female part here the female part gets matured earlier as compared to the male part So here, first day, flower stigma becomes receptive, and second day flowers, the anthers are decide dehiscing their pollen grains. So uh, first day, me jo stigmatic surface se receptive hote hain, or second day me anthers pollen grain release karte hain. So there is uh, no simultaneous uh, activity time of the male and female reproductive organs. This is again an adaptation which ensures the process of cross pollination. when the female reproductive organ that there is the carpels of a flower mature before the male one the stamens this condition is known as protogyny and the flowers are known as protogynous flowers and the examples are aristolochia mirabilis musa plantago soena etc so these are the flowers which are protogynous flowers the protandrous flowers are more common in nature as compared to the protogynous flowers then protogyny is more common in case of monocotyledons and the primitive dicotyledons and protandry that is where the male parts gets mature earlier it is especially very common in case of astridy next adaptation is heterostyly as the name indicate hetero means different styly means style so here the height or length of style is different 
where styles of different length occur in the flower on different plants of the same species which promotes the cross pollination is known as heterostyle. So in this uh, program we can see here, here the style length is shorter and the anthers are, sorry, stamens are longer as compared to the uh, pistil. In other case, the style is longer and the stamens are shorter in the length. The pollination with pollen grains from the same morph, that is same style length, is ineffective. The length of stamen and pistil in the heterostylus flowers are adapted for pollination by different pollinators or different body parts of the same pollinator. The pollens from a long stamen will reach the long rather than short pistil and vice versa. For example, in case of primula, jasminum, lathyrum, oxalis, linum, biophyta. So, in this the pollens release hote hai, long stamen say they will reach the long pistil rather than the short pistil and vice versa it means the shorter stamen will uh, release the pollen grains and they will reach the short stigmatic surface or short pistils in nature two types of heterostyle occur Do ki heterostyle hoti. the first one is diastyle here the two flower morphs are present in a species two flower morphs in one morph, the stamens are shorter and pistil are long and this type of flower is known as pin or longy stylus flower. Here the style is longer as compared to the stamen. Here the pistil is longer as compared to the stamen. This flower is known as pin flower or longy stylus flower. Here the style is long and the stamens are shorter. In second morph, the stamens are long and pistils are short. This type of flower is known as thrum or brevi stylus flower. This is known as brevi stylus flower. Here the stamens are longer as compared to the, the pistil. The length of pistil in one morph equals the length of stamen in second morph. It means in first morph the stigma uh, pistil is longer and in second morph the and stamens are longer and they have equal length. So the length of the pistil in one morph and equals the length of stamens in the second morph and vice versa. Here in the other condition here the stamens are shorter and the pistil is shorter so they have equal length. For example we have primula, phagopyrum, linum, lathyrum and cryptantha. So these are the plants which bear these types of flowers and this condition is known as diastyle. Next condition is tristyle, where three flower morphs are present in a species. Three there are flower morphs present only. Here, the one is the flower with long style, medium, and short stamen. Second flower is with medium style and long and short stamens. And third one is the flower with short style and medium and long stamens. Here, each morph has two types of stamens. In one morph, the pistil is short and the stamen are long and intermediate. In one morph, the pistil, the pistil is short or just stamens and they are of medium length or the longer length. We can say medium is also known as intermediate length. In the second morph, the pistil is of intermediate. The pistil have intermediate length ki hogi. and the stamens are short and long. The stamens are short or long. Shorter stamens and longer stamens. In third condition, in third morph, the pistil is long. Pistil long hair and stamen are short and intermediate. The stamens they are short and intermediate. And uh, this is found in case of oxalis and lathyrum. So this condition is known as Tristyle it means appears three types of styles. One is of shorter length, second is intermediate, and fourth one is the longer one. So this condition is known as tristyle, and it's again an adaptation to ensure the process of cross pollination. Next condition for uh, cross pollination is male sterility, as the name indicate. Here the male part is sterile; it is unable to produce the uh, functional or active pollen grains. It is the absence of functional pollen grains in some plants that promotes cross pollination. So this is known as male sterility, that is the absence of pollen grains or produces sterile pollens. 
it can be cytoplasmic or genetic in nature for example we have maize next adaptation for cross pollination is self incompatibility or self sterility as the name indicate here the pollen of the same flower or same plant is unable to uh, germinate on the stigmatic surface of the same flower or either the pollen tube is unable to penetrate in the stigmatic surface this is known as self incompatibility it is a failure of pollen grain to germinate on the stigma of the same flower or other flowers of the same plant and uh, in other case here the pollen tube is unable to reach to the egg and fay and uh, have no effect on the process of fertilization this is known as self incompatibility or self sterility it is an important outbreeding mechanism which prevent autogamy that is self pollination and allows the allogamy that is the cross pollination allogamy that is cell that is cross pollination in this image we can see here so how the plant identifies its own pollen grains here there, there are some genes which are present on the pollen grains and the stigmatic surface this is all about for our today discussion about cross pollination and uh, what are the various adaptations shown by plants to ensure the cross pollination process hope you will get some idea from this presentation if you have any questions queries and any suggestions you can give it in comment section thanks for watching have a great day